In the spirit of Sesame Street, the president's remarks tonight are brought to you by the letter O and the number 16 trillion. <laughs> now, here you are where they are all dressed up and in a way that most Americans cannot relate to, but it's in a good cause, Catholic Charities, the amazing work that they do there. What is the wisdom, though, of the president going on John Stewart, where he is speaking to his base, and then getting a serious question, as you will get from John Stewart, yep. he was a serious person, about Benghazi, and adopting the answer, yes. the word optimal, from John Stewart's question, you know, to give him that. But it still shows a, a, a lack of command of the moment. Take a look at this. I would say even you would admit it was not the optimal response, at least to the American people, as far as us all being on the same page. Well, here, here's what I'll say. Yeah. If four Americans get killed, it's not optimal. Right. And we're going to fix it. Right. And, and all, well, all of it. All of it. And John McCain and others are all over him. Let's watch what John McCain said on Fox today. The optimal line, of course, is uh, very regrettable and uh, makes me a little sad. But for him to say that every piece of information that they got, they laid out to the American people is one of the most disingenuous statements I've ever heard. Uh, Chris, yeah? the AP has a story which pulls together a lot of threads. The White House is pushing back that it doesn't have anything new, but threads that there was real-time information, mm -hmm. which we've been told at the State Department, we were briefed on that 10 days ago, that they had an open line from Benghazi as the attack was taking place to both Tripoli and Washington. Intelligence people, officials in both Washington and Tripoli knew it was not a protest, it was an invasion mm -hmm. that night. They had conflicting information from people out on the streets saying that the video was involved, and so that's where the ambiguity the, came in. I, I mean, I think you can say without ambiguity that the, the, the number of stories that have come out of the administration in terms of what they knew and how they knew it, it's clear that the right hand and the left hand weren't talking. Now, whether that was malevolent or just it didn't work out properly, uh, it seems we can conclude that. What I would say, just back to your point, Andrea, this is someone who's been elected the president of the United States. He beat Hillary Clinton, the dominant figure in the Democratic Party in a primary. Why would you repeat the word optimal. He has to understand that that, I understand it was in John Stewart's question, but why repeat it? It's such a, that's such just, a basic mistake that politicians at that level certainly don't use. And let's make. just say to button it down, uh, maybe he didn't have the focus, he knew he was going on his way to the Al Smith dinner, mm -hmm. but the fact is he had better have a better presentation on this subject Monday night and be the commander in chief. I promise you, the president has a big stick. <laughs>